So this is one of the things I was the most excited to try out about this mod. I read in the notes that you can eat Bowser with Yoshi in New Super Mario Bros. U style. So that's what we're gonna try here. All right, so let's let him fire one more fireball, jump over and let's eat Bowser. Yes! <laughs> it's hilarious. Not only can you eat him, but you can spit him back out. So let's spit him into the lava. No! You killed my Yoshi, you jerk! Bowser, I hate you! Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today I'll be looking at a mod sent to me by a guy named Mario Passamato. This mod is a bit different from the usual texture hacks I've showcased. This mod allows you to do things you can't normally do in Mario Maker, such as more abilities for Mario and older game styles, giving Lakitu's the ability to throw out thwomps, and even making insanely huge clown cars, and even gigantic clouds. First we'll mess around with some of the new features in editor mode, and then we'll try out a level with the mod applied. Alright, let's get started. All right, let's start off with checking out Mario's new abilities in old game styles, such as in Mario 1, we can now spin jump on enemies. I know it doesn't look like I'm spinning, but I am. It works, there's just no animation for it. In Mario 3, we can also spin on piranha plants and other items you could typically spin on in New Super Mario Bros. U and Mario World style. And as you can see here, we can also do wall jumps. And we can also ground pound now in these old styles, which is really satisfying to do. We could always spin jump in Mario World, but we can now wall jump as well, and we get that sweet, sweet ground pound, and it looks fantastic. I wish this was already in the game as an option for your levels. We also have the ability to throw items up in all game styles now, thanks to this awesome mod. Here's a Goomba in a clown car. If we jump on him, he just magically floats down. He's changed the typical animation to make him just sink. Now I wouldn't place enemies directly in clown cars as it can cause your game to crash, but if you let them drop in, boom! We get a gigantic freaking clown car. This thing gets huge. This also works in Super Mario World style with the Galoomba. Yes, Galoombas exist, and they make clown cars huge as well. In New Super Mario Bros. U style, this also works. We get this crazy green looking tornado from the propeller. It's really, really a neat effect. Here we have a Koopa Troopa falling into a clown car, which makes it get pretty big. We've seen clown cars this big in some of the older glitch levels that I used to show off on the channel. And poor Mario gets knocked off the edge. Sorry, Mario. Now in Super Mario Bros. 1 style, we get the opposite effect. We get a micro clown car you can't even see. This makes it look like the Koopa Troopa is chasing after Mario. Kind of like a boo almost. Thwomps also make the clown car kind of vanish. I don't know if it just gets so small you can't see it or what. But we get sideways moving thwomps, something we'll have in Super Mario Maker 2. You can also put these thwomps inside of a bill blaster, which is kind of a neat effect. You can even put giant thwomps inside of red bill blasters, shoot out a little bit quicker. Luckily for Mario, he can now spin jump and avoid this scary, scary stack of thwomp stairs. All right, now we can put skewers in bill blasters as well. Sadly, when you hit play, we just get a boring old bullseye bill coming at Mario. We can put skewers and blocks though, like we've seen in some of these hacked and modded glitchy levels I've been showcasing lately. That is definitely a pretty cool feature. We can put skewers in Lakitu's, but oddly when you hit play, the Lakitu just throws out shellments. You can put thwomps in Lakitu's as we've seen, and I love this ability. This shows me that this is a feature I think should have been in the game already. I could picture some really cool level design with this feature of Lakitu's throwing out thwomps. You can spin jump on them, uh, maybe you could reach new areas, definitely would be tricky and a lot of fun. Another thing with thwomps is they've been adjusted to where they bounce really, 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 really high on springs. As you can see here, <laughs> when we spin jump on them, we are bouncing insanely high off the thwomp. Mushroom platforms, semi-solids, and also bridges and vines have all been changed to where you can do kind of smaller versions than you typically could in Mario Maker. Another weird thing is you can put these items on tracks. They will not move on the tracks, but you can do some neat effects like having that gap underneath the semi-solid. As you can see here, all four items on the track and nothing is moving. I really like these smaller versions of the semi-solids and mushroom platforms and things. I actually think it could have added a lot to level design if they would have included them. I'm not sure why they didn't include the micro versions. They look great. All right, so a thwomp in a cloud, you get a giant evil happy cloud that's hiding a thwomp and will crush Mario. In Mario Brothers 1, here's the giant cloud. 
Here's the giant cloud in Super Mario Bros. 3. And because I know you want to see it, here is the cloud in New Super Mario Bros. U. That is one pixelated, insanely happy cloud hiding an evil thwomp. Now Koopa Troopas and Super Mario Bros. 1 style are hilarious because they get this little tiny itty bitty micro cloud. It just looks hilarious as he chases Mario around. Now in Super Mario World, Koopa Troopas get pretty large clouds, but they don't fill up the whole screen. And then Hammer Brothers get ones just big enough to almost cover them up. So it kind of looks like this really happy cloud is following around Mario and throwing out hammers like an insane jerk. What did Mario do to deserve this? Anyways, so this is one of the things I was the most excited to try out about this mod. I read in the notes that you can eat Bowser with Yoshi in new Super Mario Bros. U style. So that's what we're gonna try here. All right, so let's let him fire one more fireball, jump over and let's eat Bowser. Yes! <laughs> it's hilarious. Not only can you eat him, but you can spit him back out. So let's spit him into the lava. No, you killed my Yoshi, you jerk. Bowser, I hate you. Die, Bowser. You get what you deserve. Yoshi was my best friend. And now he's gone. If we hit a pow block, Bowser will instantly start sinking. Typically, that's what he does when you hit the ax. That's also kind of funny. All right, so we are gonna download this level from my buddy k Dog called Spin In, Spin Out. Now in this level, it's Super Mario World style. You have to throw items up and you have to spin jump, things you can't normally do in Super Mario Bros. 3. So we're downloading the level, we're changing the style to underground, and we're gonna make it Super Mario Bros. 3. And we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Spin in, spin out, easy. All right, so I was hoping to find a level with lots of wall jumps and stuff. I'm not sure if this one has that. Okay, I know we do need to throw this shell up here, but we're not supposed to go up there with it. Dang it! Okay, let's try this again without screwing up like a noob. Okay, we grab the shell. We throw it up. Take out the muncher. Okay, over the spikes, easy peasy. Here we gotta do a spin jump. And trust me, we're doing spin jumps. There's just no animation for it. So we just kind of plank in the air, sort of. All right, spin off the bob bomb. We have to throw the bob bomb up here, hit the power block. Sadly, I don't think there's any wall jumping sections in this level, but it's still pretty fun being able to spin jump and throw items up in the air in Mario 3 style. If you haven't seen Mario Multiverse yet, this fan game that I've been showing off, it's a lot like Super Mario Maker. It has the ability to where you can add whatever abilities you want Mario to have to any level. So it's kind of a really neat feature. It'd be kind of cool to see something like that in Super Mario Maker 2 when it comes out. Like maybe you can allow ground pounds in old styles of Mario, for instance. All right, so we just need to collect these coins. Once we get up here, we can do a little wall jump here and almost kill ourselves. let's not do that. All right, now we have this little drop down section here. Sadly, the level didn't have as many options to use the new features as I'd like, uh, but it was still kind of fun just spinning around and throwing items in the air. All right, so we got to redo this first section again. K-Dog's really smart about his music levels. He uh, always makes you go back through sections to kind of make the song a little bit longer. Spin across here, spin across here, spin across here, and spin across here. We have to do a spin jump on the bob bomb to knock him over. Once again, throw it up, hit the pow. And we just have to go through the door now. Yep, there we go. All right, now this section's pretty easy. This section, we're just pretty much jumping over spikes. So while we were just on the subject a moment ago, who's excited for Super Mario Maker 2? I'm insanely excited to see stuff they haven't announced yet. Curious what game styles there's gonna be. Uh, you know, they've shown all the old styles and it showed that there's gonna be 3D world style. It'd be so cool to see some other styles like Mario Land or Mario Land 2. You know, even if they could do a 2D Mario 64, I think people would go nuts for that. We'll just have to wait and see in June. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude our look at the mod from Mario Passamato. Let me know what you thought of this mod in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.